we're going to be making this design. Um, it's basically based off of the seed of life pattern where there's six flower petals and we're going to continue to add more petals around. And if you'd like, you can add this extra circle where the petals end. And you can pick the spot. Some people like that circle, some don't. I like the two tones. Um, we're going to do it in black and white as a construction, but when using the two tones, it kind of gives a, a weird 3D effect. And the spirals remind me of looking at the seeds of a sunflower. They have the Fibonacci spiral pattern, and this sort of looks like it. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our compass is aligned or adjusted. So the pointy tip and the pen or pencil should be at the same length. Next, we're going to estimate the center. Normally, if I'm doing artwork, I'll measure and find exactly the middle so I don't make the picture um, lopsided or look a little bit off-centered. Um, tends to bother some people when looking at a picture. So make sure you do your measurements and find the center. We're going to put the point of the compass in the center and we're going to adjust our compass almost the entire page. So you can make it as big as you want it. The bigger, bigger the compass is open, the easier it tends to be to work with. Smaller circles tend to be more difficult to make. So we're going to begin by drawing one big circle. And throughout this, we're going to use the same adjusted size. Uh, there will just be one moment where we have to change the compass to find the middle of two petals. So we're going to base off of this. I'm going to put the compass point on the top. Again, I'd use a ruler to find where the center is to make it look nicer if I was doing artwork. We're going to put the point of the compass on the edge and the center of the circle should be where the pen or pencil is touching. We're going to go from one side of the circle to the other without going through. We're going to go to one of the two intersecting spots where the arc and the circle meet and we're going to repeat that. Now if we do this six times we're going to have the seed of life pattern where you can draw all sorts of shapes, rhombus, rectangle, trapezoid, regular triangle, uh, rhombus, I don't know if I said that already. And if you ever get distracted and aren't sure where to position your compass, uh, you can go to where the pen should be drawing and it'll basically point on the edge of the circle where your compass should go. And this is our final petal or seed. So this is called the seed of life pattern. You can make the star of David or you can make a, a hexagon around it. So you can make multiple shapes with it. The next thing we want to do is find the center in between two of the petals or seeds. So normally I'd use pencil because I want to erase it um, in case I make a mistake before I paint. Um, but especially for this part, I wouldn't want to use pen because we don't want this next step in your picture. But so you can see better, I'll use a pen. We're going to go to what looks like past the center and basically do our perpendicular bisector construction. So we put the point on one edge of the circle where the petal or seed touches, make an arc, go to the other side and repeat. And where those two things meet are where we'll put our ruler to find the middle. Now this arc didn't touch the other one, so I'll simply put the compass back and readjust it. So we can line our ruler up and put it here to here. And that would be the center. We could draw a pencil mark or we could put an indentation with the compass. So the pointing part isn't just for grip. It can also put indentations on your paper so you can see a position without making a mark. So now we're ready to go. We just need to put our compass back to the size it was when we started. So I'm going to put the point in the center and adjust my compass until I find the spot 
That's the size of the circle we were using to begin with. Now I'm going to go to this edge, make a mark, and I'm going to go all the way around six times. Wherever I leave off, I put the point of the compass and I go from the circle edge to edge. So now we've doubled the number of seeds or petals. We went from six to 12. So there's 12 little ones and 12 larger ones. Um, of course, you wanna be careful with your compass. You could make little mistakes like here if you're not careful. So we wanna repeat that again. We wanna find the middle between the two petals, but we don't need to do a construction. These smaller petals indicate the middle. So where the two arcs are touching here and the center, we would line up and we can make a mark or just put our compass there because our compass is already adjusted properly. I'm gonna make my arc and go all the way around six more times. So I'll have 18 petals and we'll have to do one more layer to make 24. So again, each time I finish, I have the position to put my compass point where I left off. And you can see it's symmetrical, meaning if we cut it in half, both sides would be the same, but it's not full. So the reason for that is we have 18. We didn't double it. We got half the amount we had before. We had 12, now we have six more. So we wanna find the center point. Again, we'll just line up this position here, the tip of the small leaf and the center, and that'll find the middle of the two leaves. And we will make six more arcs. Now, if I'm doing artwork, uh, I would be very careful not to extend past the circle. If I'm using pencil before painting, then I could always erase it. So this is the pattern we were looking at. If we wanted this circle here, we would simply put the compass down here and adjust the pen to the edge of the smaller petal, the second smallest. So we can actually continue going if we wanted to. We, the video is now over. Um, this is a, a neat design pattern, but if we wanted to, we could make another layer. We would find the spot in between those two, line up the center and line up where the two petals touch. And we can, whoops, I put it on the wrong spot. I need to put it up here on the edge. So we can do another whole layer, and to do that, it's going to be, well, since we have 24, we're gonna to have to do it 24 more times. So if you'd like to make it more full and give it a nice, more spirally visual look, you can continue to add as many layers as you'd like. So I'm gonna stop there you can continue um, and hopefully this gives you some enjoyment and maybe uh, do a nice project in color with someone you love and care about maybe someone being homeschooled